<laughs> the story I'm going to share with you is one I've told many times over the years, but haven't ever put in a video. So as I tell it, I hope it gives you some perspective. A few months after I was born, in August of 1990, my parents began to notice that I wasn't reaching developmental milestones like my older brother did. Believing something was wrong, in light of the fact that I'd been born significantly premature, they had me assessed, but for a long while, none of the medical professionals wanted to admit the truth. Finally, after seeing that my mother had suffered an asthma attack during labor, one doctor had the guts to say what needed to be said, that my brain had been deprived of oxygen and I had quadriplegic cerebral palsy. After that, specialists told my parents that it was unlikely that I'd ever be able to speak or write. Well, the fact that you're listening to my voice right now is obvious proof to the contrary. As is the fact that throughout my adult life, my main source of income has always been my ability to write. Learning to speak wasn't easy by any means. It took years of speech therapy before people could understand me. And for even longer after that, I absolutely hated the sound of my own voice. Even now, before I record voiceovers for videos, I always feel a twinge of nervousness because I know how I sound and it isn't sweet or melodic. So, why have I told you all this? Well, to make the point that not even doctors with all their wisdom and medical knowledge can know the limits of the human spirit and the only real way to know what kind of person you are is to test yourself. For now, farewell. <laughs>